hope you've got motel money, honey, because I'm freezing. It's a motel, isn't it? I'd have frozen to death if you hadn't have come along when you did. There you go. In here. Uh, why don't you go in here and make yourself a drink? I'll be right down. I... I have to look in on my daughter. Your kids here? Yeah. Everything okay? Come on. Let's get it over with. Where are we going? This way. I'm a scientist. This is where I work. Oh, by the way, I don't do anything weird. Neither do I. You don't really expect me to work in here, do you? Well, maybe I am just, uh, you know, a little weird. Look, it's gonna cost you extra. Well, you can't put a price on a good time. Uh, not yet. If, if, if you wouldn't, would you, would you lie down? Please. Thanks. This doesn't hurt you, does it? No, it's fine. Comfortable? Yeah. Just what do you do with them anyway? I'm studying hyperviolence, searching for that sector of the brain that controls our desire to hurt one another. Don't you hurt them doing that? No animal suffers in my lap. Hey, 
Last night, Jack. Hmm? Leslie Abeling is the fifth prostitute to disappear from city streets in the last month. Police are still seeking a connection, but are hesitant to assume any of the women have been murdered. Think it's worth checking out? I'm not sure we got anything more to go on than the police. Well, let's just file it, did you, for now, anyway? We're back. Uh, Hi. How'd you make out? Well? Let me put it this way. We ought to renovate this place and rent out rooms. You wouldn't believe what they're charging for apartments these days. No luck, huh? No. I keep hoping to find a great place like Mickey and I shared in college, oh, but... yeah, you should have seen it. Skylights, antique bathroom. Linda, you had a bedroom fireplace. <laughs> look, Mickey, maybe I should move to a hotel. The company will look after me until I get settled here, and... Absolutely not. But I can't keep imposing on you guys like this. I'm in the way here. Oh, nonsense, Linda. You're welcome to stay here just as long as you can. It'll be our pleasure. That's right. Besides, tonight I think I was supposed to take you to that new Tex-Mex place. No. Now stop it. You guys have got to stop spoiling me like this. We're not. Tonight I was going to let you pay. <laughs> <laughs> Warren, you're only postponing the inevitable. You can look at the test yourself. Amanda's deterioration is accelerating. Henry, I'm telling you, she's getting better. You've got to face reality. You don't need to put yourself through what's going to happen to her. I know how much you love her. The way you stuck by her when your wife left, the way you... You've done all a man can do. Now, I've drawn up the papers. We'll commit her to the state hospital. I am not sending her away. God's sake, man. You've seen what happens. Amanda. Come on. Hello, Uncle Henry. Hello. Go back and play him. You really want to sign those papers? How is this possible? I told you, she's getting better. Warren, are you testing something on her? Because if you are... Henry, the disease is in remission. Then let me examine her. No. I'll be a doctor from now on. At least let me assign you a nurse. You can't watch her 24 hours a day. Henry, you've seen her for yourself. I don't need any help, okay? The precise chemical composition of the extracted fluid remains elusive. However, Test samples injected into the primate subjects causes an immediate calming. They become very humane. The fluid donor, meanwhile, lapses into a deep state of animal aggression, showing all the signs of hypervalent syndrome. 
The more liquid I extract from the middle lobe of the brain's left hemisphere, the more theta wave activity increases. This seems to suggest that the extract's created in this region. What did you give me? Nothing. I just took something away. Come on. I'm sorry, this is quite necessary. <laughs> You guys have really been great to me. I mean, when I relocated here, I knew I'd be seeing Mickey, but I never dreamed I'd be gaining a whole new family. Just wait, you'll get yourself settled, find yourself a boyfriend, we'll never hear from you again. Don't struggle, you'll only hurt yourself. I'm sorry this had to happen. I, I didn't have any choice. 
You're going to help me answer a, a very complicated riddle. You see, most of the time I can answer it with this, but only for a short time. Because it doesn't give me a cure. Oh, please don't hurt me. Please let me go. With luck, you're one of the last. The pain will be gone in a moment. It's okay. It's okay. I promise. Subject number six made it uh, for 500 hours. Further samples will be taken until the exact position of brainwave activity can be determined. It should then be routine procedure to surgically remove the tissue and implanted in Amanda's brain. Your friends are here. Don't move. Yeah. Don't move. Your friends are here, Mr. Delian. Mm -hmm. Right. Are you okay? Yeah. What happened? Where's Linda? We just got the hospital reports. They've identified the dead woman. Who is she? Somebody we've been looking for. Leslie Aberling. She disappeared a few days ago. That's not her. It's her. Prince and dental records check. Isn't that the missing prostitute? At least now we got some idea what's happening to them. What are you talking about? The hospital says there were needle marks in her throat. I don't understand. Oh, dirty dress, bruises. Looks like somebody was keeping her caged. What about Linda? I think there's a good chance we were kidnapped this girl. Now has your friend. Princess. Hi, Daddy. How's my girl this morning? You feeling okay? No headaches? Good. Yeah, pretty soon it'll all be gone. Pretty soon you'll be just like you were. Then we'll get Mommy back and we'll be happy. I won't ever let anything bad happen to you again. Daddy loves you very much, sweetie. More than you'll ever know. What do you want to do today? I'm just going to play in my room. All right. Well, you get dressed, and I'll go and get your breakfast ready, okay? Yes? Dr. Voss, I'm Mrs. Schiller. Who? The registered nurse. Dr. Chadway sent me. I don't need a nurse. Oh, apparently, Dr. Chadway thought you did, and so did the court. Now, wait a minute. What is all this? I'm under court order to make sure that you don't administer any treatment to your daughter that hasn't been prescribed by Dr. Chadway. Where is she?
woman that Linda hit wasn't the one in that picture. She was more animal than human. You were in shock, Ryan. I wasn't in shock, that's what I saw. Stop it! I'm sorry. I just, I just can't see how someone can change that much in two days. This man in the coat, what do you remember about him? It was a white coat. What kind of a coat? Fur, leather, what? No, it was thinner than that. It was uh, more like a lab coat. A lab coat. That detective said she had needle marks on her throat. Yes, exactly. And that might explain why she was changed. You mean somebody was experimenting on it? And very possibly with something purchased from this store. You had no right. You had no right at all. I had no choice. I'm her doctor. And I'm her father. You can't use her as a guinea pig. Oh, come on, Henry. You saw her. She's getting better. Warren, what's happening? What are you up to? <sighs> One step away from a cure. In the midlobe of the brain's left hemisphere, there is a very small functional zone. Now it, uh, well, to, to put it simply, it controls our humanity. What? I found the section of the brain that makes us human. It's the section that controls violence and, and animal behavior. What are you talking about? Henry, I found the physical seat of the human soul. doesn't exist in animals is what makes us different from them. Don't you see? If I can transplant this section into Amanda, she'll be cured. And it is a very small amount of tissue. There shouldn't be any problem. How did you find this thing if it doesn't exist in animals? What have you done? I just need a few more days. No. I'm calling the state hospital. I'm going to ask them to come collect her in the morning. You can't do that. And so help me. If you touch her before then, I'll see you go to prison. Henry, damn it! Haven't you done enough to ruin her life? She's like this because of you. Here's something. Antique silver syringe from the collection of Thomas Neil Cream. Sold to Dr. Henry Chadway, Mickey. Right. Thomas Neil Cream. Of course. Of course what? Neil Cream was a Chicago doctor arrested in London for a string of murders. And before he was hanged, he said that he was Jack the Ripper. Jack the Ripper? Yes, and just like the Ripper, all his victims were prostitutes. There's a Dr. Henry Chadway at the Chadway Boss Institute. What the hell is that? It's a research center, clinical psychiatry. Ryan, I think we better have a talk with him. What about me? Canvas the area where the accident happened. See if you can find anyone who heard or saw anything last night. If Leslie Abelding was escaping, maybe it was from nearby. Hmm? Almost done, Amanda. Then we'll watch some TV. Okay, would you like that? I want you to do as you're told. Don't antagonize her. You'll trigger an attack. I've treated these children for years. I know what I'm doing. I have a tranquilizer ready if she has a seizure. Yes, well, I don't think that'll be necessary. Why don't you just go? It's my job to look after this child. I said, get out. I have been assigned. I am quite capable of looking after my own daughter. Now get out! Hello, honey. Come on, sweetheart, it's daddy. <laughs>
Look, I don't care what he's doing. Get him now. This is an emergency. Get off the phone. I don't know what you're doing to that poor child, but you've done it for the last time. Don't you understand? I am making her well. You'll go to jail for this. you do to her? Leave her alone. sacrifice. I believe that some of us have to die in order to save the rest of us. It's ringe belonged to a murderer. It's cursed. It's making you kill me. No, 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 no. After the night, it'll never be used again. My research will make it obsolete. What kind of research involves killing people? The kind that might stop it forever. What are you going to do to her? for her soul. Well, keep trying. Mrs. Schiller wouldn't have called unless it was important. Formerly Vendredi Antiques. We're the new owners. Do you remember buying a silver sleeve syringe from there? Yes, my hobby's collecting medical antiquities. I have a large collection. Where is it? Look, what's so important about... Do you still have it? 
What is this all about? Doctor, we've got reason to believe that it's been involved in a number of murders. <laughs> That's ridiculous. It's right here. It was here the last time I looked. When was that? Well, the end of last month. Who could have taken it? I mean, who has access to your office? Warren Voss. He's my research partner until I fired him. Oh, my God. What? Doctor, what kind of research were you involved in? We were studying something called hyperviolent syndrome. Hmm? It's a rare childhood condition where the patient deteriorates into a violent animal-like state. Why did you fire him? He isolated the virus that caused it and accidentally left an infected needle within the reach of his little girl. And she contracted the disease? The guilt affected his behavior. I had to let him go. He's been obsessed with finding a cure, but... Where can we find him? daughter or would you rather I kept using the syringe huh would you rather I kept killing to keep Amanda alive no you don't seem to understand that I can save hundreds of innocent children isn't that worth one more life no Look, a syringe can both extract from and inject into a human body, but I think cream's needle is capable of transferring a great deal more than just bodily fluids. Like what? Our humanity. What? That's why Leslie Abeling reminded you of an animal. She was missing the human side of her personality? Extracted by the needle. So Voss could inject it into his daughter? Yes. Is that possible? That's not a new idea, Ryan. It was the basis of a book that was very popular at the time that Cream was committing his murders, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. You keep your eyes on the road, driver. I'm afraid any anesthetic would weaken the brain waves, and I need them to guide me. I'm sorry. But your suffering will end the suffering of so many others. Amanda can be normal again. Just as soon as I replace the tissue, the virus destroyed. I'm sure I didn't use this again. Looks like you're gonna be successful. Jack, look. The car's here. Here you go. 
And so is Mickey. Let's hope we're not too late. Yeah. Subject has begun to show regenerative brain pattern. Surgery will be conducted in two stages. The removal of the donor section and the implantation. Estimated length of surgery, five hours. Check upstairs, I'll take this floor.
How is she? Oh, she's much better. I think it'll be some time before she's out of that bedroom. She's coming back that slowly, huh? No, she's actually showing some very human responses again. Tears. It'll be some time before she gets over what happened to Linda. Is the syringe back in the vault? Mm. I called the uh, mental hospital. Amanda's safely behind doors. I guess that's all that can be expected, isn't it? Something wrong? What would have happened if Voss had found a cure for violent behavior? Do you think that anyone or anything should suffer like Mickey did to find such a cure? I guess it's not a fair trade, is it? No. Even if he did do it for love, 